الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الأحباب The question arises were the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين were they from Jamaat al-Ahbash because if we want to determine any group no matter what their name is if they are following the path of the believers then we have to look at what they believe and their name what they call themselves what they unite upon their creed their methodology their manners all of those aspects of Islam so the question arises and it has arisen many times is Jamaat al-Ahbash on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the way we can determine this is by looking and asking the questions where the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'in were they Ahbash were they from Jamaat al-Ahbash Ayyul Ahbab I think we have no disagreement with our brothers from Jamaat al-Ahbash and our brothers from all the other groups and sects that we all must adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa'tasimu bi hablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says and hold on all of you all together to the rope of Allah and do not divide and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa'atiyu Allah wa'atiyu Rasul and follow Allah and follow His Messenger and that affirms for us the importance of following the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But then the question rises, where does the Sahaba come in to play? We know that they preserved the religion. We know that they collected the Quran and compiled it into uh, the, the form that, we're, that we have it in today. And we know that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala blessed them to be companions with Suhbah Suhbat al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that they were the companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in that Allah chose them and we know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said khayr al-nas qarni thumma al-ladheena yulunuhum thumma al-ladheena yulunuhum and in another narration alayhi salatu wa sallam he said khayr al-nas qarn al-ladhi bu'ithtu fihim thumma al-ladheena yulunuhum thumma al-ladheena yulunuhum mutafakun alayhi this is in Sahih Muslim in Bukha uh, in Bukhari and Muslim which means that the best people is my generation or is the generation that I was sent in and then those who uh, follow them and then those who follow them so meaning the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Ajma'een the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam also said Ashabi am, uh, Amina Li Ummati فَإِذَا ذَهَبَ أَصْحَابِي أَتَى أُمَّتِي مَا يُعَدُونَ This is in Sahih Muslim as well. The Prophet ﷺ let us know that his companions, he said, my companions, uh, they, if my ummah should uh, have trust in them and, 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 and believe in them and follow in their, their footsteps, that so if my companions they disappear then my ummah will get what they were promised and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said in another sahih hadith that's also agreed upon in bukhari and muslim qala alayhi salatu wasalam la tasubu ashabi falaw anna ahadakum anfaq mithla uhd dhahaban مَا بَلَغَ مُدْ أَحَدُهُمْ وَلَا نُصِيفُهُمْ مُتَفَقُ الْعَلَيْهِ The Prophet ﷺ also said, Do not curse my companions. For verily, if one of you had spent to the equivalent of in, in gold of Mount Uhud, then that would not even equal a mud of one of them. Not, or even half of it. So we know that the Prophet ﷺ praised his companions and loved his companions. 
and they make up Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. They make up the foundation uh, of our religion, of how to practice and understand the explanation of the Quran, all of these aspects of the deen and manners, etc. Because they were the handhold to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they preserved his Sunnah Alayhi Salatu Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Majma'een Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says Fi Kitabi Al-Kareem about them وَسَابِقُونَ الْأَوْلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ تَبَعُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ Radiallahu Anhum وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Tawbah, He says about the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een, He said the first, uh, from, from, from the first, from the, uh, the muhajireen, meaning those people who made hijrah or made the immigration, to from uh, uh, to Mecca or uh, to Medina, and the Ansar, the Ansar meaning Ahl Medina, the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, that were from Ahl Medina, and those who follow them in righteousness, Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Allah, and He has prepared for them Jannah or, or the paradise under which rivers flow forever and that is the great success so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een in the Quran and there are many ayats uh, in reference to the fadl of the sahaba but now it comes to the question where does groups like Jamaat al-Ahbash because Whenever you take a name, Jamaat al-Ahbash, we don't find that Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhum you just use this name. We don't find that Abu Bakr, wala Umar, wala Uthman, wala Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. So the Khulafa Rashidin did not call themselves Ahbash. Now Ahbash, Habashi, was known in reference to the inhabitants of Ethiopia. And Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu was Habashi in his if you want to say nationality. However, his creed was that of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was one of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. And they did not have the creed of the people of Jamaat al-Ahbash, which we see uh, Abdullah Hariri propagated. Things like the exalting of the Salihin, of the righteous, or the different actions that they believe uh, in accordance with the grave. Nor do we see, as many people have pointed out, that the Jamaat al-Ahbash, and so I think it's imperative to go to their books and see that they actually speak ill of some of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. There's many statements that are recorded and listed in books of Abdullah Hariri, and his speaking ill of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. So this, in and of itself, lets us know that they have more in common with the Shia than they do with Ahl Sunnah. And that their name has no precedence in Islam. But if you look to the Salaf, then we see that is mentioned all throughout in the Sharia. The term Salaf and the Salaf as -Sareh the early scholars, the pious predecessors. This is mentioned. Also, they were also known as Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. This is also mentioned. And they were also known as Ahl Hadith. This is also mentioned. And they were also known as Ahl Athar. This is also mentioned. However, when it comes to calling yourself Jama'at al-Tabliq or Jama'at al-Ahbash or Jama'at al akhwan al or Ashari or uh, Sufi or Mu'tazila or... Uh, Jahmi, Jahmi, or or any of these other names in Al Qab, that we don't find this, we don't find this in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, nor do we find the early scholars using these terms. So, I challenge and invite anyone from that sect to prove to us and give us 
evidence, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hatu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqeen. Bring your evidence if you're truthful. So bring it. So that way we can see and we can gain light to see where this sect has anything in common with the Sabil al Mu'mineen, with the believers. And what we know is evidence from the statements and practices of Abdullah Herari and those who follow him is there are so many mukhalafat, so many ways in which they differ with the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ in his creed and in his methodology of da'wah and general practices that we wonder where they came from. Where is the conglomerate of various aqidahs that they took from? We know Abdullah Herari studied with many and took bay'ah to many different Sufi sheikhs. And this you can find from their own uh, websites. I've read this myself in their websites in Arabic. And I've read also I have some of his books that were given to me as a gift. And I've seen it myself where they mention all of the supposed scholarship that he did. But unfortunately, Allah didn't favor him with uh, guidance and true benefit from all of those years of seeking knowledge and writing and, and memorizing. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and give us guidance and forgive us of our sins. And may Allah guide Jamaat al Bash and the people who speak without knowledge and have the nerve to call and claim people are Wahhabi and slander this one and slander this one, but they can never ever bring up any aspect of proof about their own belief in Aqidah. And may Allah bless us all to return back to the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Sahaba radiallahu and take our names and take our, our mannerisms and our actions and our creed from them. And may Allah forgive us of our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.